It is truly an honor to be here. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. First off, I would like to take this time to thank Dominion Resources and the Library of Virginia for selecting me as the Central Region winner of the Strong Men and Women in Virginia History Essay Contest. And I would personally like to thank my beautiful teacher, Ms. Kaylin Vogelpohl. <laughs> if it hadn't been for her, If it hadn't been for her, let's just say I wouldn't have really written this essay. So, <laughs> thank you. Growing up, I came to understand that giving it in itself was not what was important. It was the intent and the love behind giving that made the difference. One would not give until he is prompted, or a burden is laid upon his heart to do so in the grand scheme of things. I find solace in the knowledge that there existed a man like Thomas Cannon and that there are others like him out there. The first reason on my list for giving would be the beauty of compassion does not just lie in the deeds of a man, but the potential to birth happiness and contentment. The reason I would have this on the top of the list is because I find the human nature of compassion to be most intriguing. I find it amazing that one would give part of his possessions to another person who would then do unto others as someone had done for him or her. And even as we seek, we should be able to give because it speaks unto one's values and character. I strongly believe that Thomas Cannon would agree with me because fresh leaves do not grow on their own. They are nourished by autumn leaves and fertile soil. That is one of the 12 undeniable truths of our very existence. People have sacrificed too much for us to do so little in our everyday lives. Another reason I would like to add is, if you give with the right mindset, you give happiness unto yourself. Being of African descent, I grew up in a third world environment. Life was a daily struggle, and I watched my parents toil every day to provide for me and my siblings. We could barely make ants meet, and this made me start stealing. Instead of giving, I began to take things that did not belong to me. Instead of giving, I began to take things that really didn't belong to me. <laughs> <laughs> Even in the midst of my actions, the people I stole from still showed me love and sympathy. They would often say that all I needed to do was ask, and they would give me. As I grew older, I realized that the motivation for giving transcends human understanding. I began to not just give, but to also show love to others. After all, if we don't, who will? If not now, as Martin Luther King said it, when? To be able to freely give is truly one of the greatest gifts a person can ever have. Thank you and have a good evening.